Kia ora, good evening. The first major New Year's Eve concert has been forced to cancel by the weather. The beachfront event at Mount Monganui is off. Police say high winds and rain make setting up the stage too dangerous. John O'Hutchison will have more on the concerts that are on or off in a moment. But first, Rachel Tiffins across the more immediate problem. Homes flooded at Golden Bay. Rachel, who's copping it and how badly? Carolyn, it's been pretty relentless for the people of Pohara. They really had only just finished cleaning up from the last floods to be hit with another 24 hours of rainfall. Suffice to say, they've had a gutsful. For many a proud Kiwi, their home is their castle. That applies to Leith Canning, but he never wanted a moat. We waterlogged for eight days solid and then partly waterlogged the rest of the time. That's after six other floodings in five years. He says it's because five years ago the drainage system was changed. Before the new subdivision went in, it used to the, the ditch went right through. It was a big culvert out there and it could flow out that end. Now that culvert is again blocked with silt and debris, meaning water winds up here in the moat. Well, I thought I can always go upstairs. <laughs> Fonterra has been bringing in tankers of water for people here at the camping ground and in Pohara Valley, but residents like Mr Canning have to fend for themselves. Because my tank got contaminated with the flood water, I wasn't going to use that, and on top of that, my pump was underwater for the sixth time. Tasman District Council's Adrian Humphreys says staff did all they could to prepare. Last night we had crews out again clearing those channels to try and maintain some level of normality and obviously today we've got crews out on the ground doing all that as we speak. But there was little they could do for Wainui Bay. Cut off by slips and drowning in sludge again. The issues are mainly that a lot of the river channels have been blocked by silt and mud and so that's pushing the water out onto the farm over there. It's grim muddy stuff across the region. Mud that the thousands of people at this Rewaka festival decided they might as well embrace. Carolyn, the good news is we've seen the worst of the weather. The rain is easing and river levels are dropping back down. We did have a minor rock fall here in Nelson on Rocks Road this afternoon, but nothing compared to last time. Rachel, thank you.